this venue, what a hoot. If our Lord of the Ring loving teenage selves could have ever imagined this happening, as teenagers we probably would have drunk an ill-advised number of those horrible raspberry flavoured vodka cruises or UDLs in celebration, which is what you do when you're 16, right? So this is just utterly amazing. Probably she's more excited about me saying yes to getting married here than when I actually propose, so. <laughs> From the awkward high school years we all had, from the clubbing with you girls in metal and R&B clubs in uni, yeah, we worked it. I know nothing about uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. In fact, I, th <laughs> I thought it was Lord of the Flies and Peggy was involved. Um, but anyhow. Thank you for everyone coming. It's so beautiful seeing you wander around the beautiful sets and seeing all your excited expressions. So thank you for coming all this way on a big adventure to celebrate. It. I know it's hard to believe, but Nathan wasn't always this fancy cocktail drinking hipster you see now. I was probably most excited for the food personally as well. While we never say it, Nathan, your mother and I are extraordinarily proud of you. Um, I'm, I'm nearly finished. It's probably right. I was just thinking, I don't think I've ever said that. Anyhow, um... Of old, you have been summoned here to witness the marriage of Nathan and Jean, and it is with so much happiness that I welcome you all to this incredibly special day in this incredibly special place. I, Nathan James Wren, choose you, Jean Mary Moslem, to be my wife. Jenny, my love, I know you played the long game to get here, but here we are and I am forever grateful. You are and always will be my dream girl. I, Jean Mary Moslem, choose you, Nathan James Wren, to be my husband. Nathan, it has always been you. I promise to be your Aaron Sun, to be your one constant in the universe, to be the brightest star at the centre of your chart, to be your guide. You understand me effortlessly and better than I do. You handle my wide range of emotions <laughs> with grace, but you don't just protect me, we protect each other. I vow to spend my life showing how much I love you. You were scored on my heart from the first moment I saw you, with your kind smile and how you have constantly, consistently and continually never let me go a day without making me feel loved, cared for, appreciated and valued. And I vow to do the same for you to always grow and evolve with you. 
I love you, Nathan. I still can't believe how lucky I am that someone as amazing as you've chosen to share your life with me. You're the most determined, inspirational and driven woman I know. You constantly amaze me at the way that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. I promise to always be your number one supporter and your biggest cheer squad. I promise to now give you fair warning before getting you hooked on a TV show that only has one season. I will try my best to support you any way I can, even if it's as little as taking you out to a tiki bar while you try and simplify your job enough for me to understand. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together on many nerdy adventures. I'll follow you without any hesitation through any wormhole to the unknown and back. I love you. Now, I'm going to finish this with a plagiarised quote from, yeah, it's from Lord of the, not the flies, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, and it's from, tell, now someone yell at me if I've got this wrong, Galadriel? Yeah! Okay, Galadriel's quote uh, said when she was gifted, is it a sheep? Thank you. Thank God, yeah. When, when she was gifting Frodo with the ring, and I've just plagiarised it. It said, may your marriage be a light to you, both in the dark places when all things go out. May it have that strength 